Hello and welcome. We are looking at another ambulance rescue video going through some medium to heavy traffic in areas. I'm told this is in Warsaw. This comes to us from a channel called Warsaw Rescue. It'll be linked in the description down below so you can check out the whole thing as we won't see the whole thing here. And definitely browse our channel. And this was suggested on Discord by AK Kowal. So uh, these are always interesting. It's fun to see the road systems and how traffic responds and so forth. And uh, I think this is going to be a good one. So let's get right to it. Strap in. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Right, right away. <laughs> right away coming up to some pretty significant traffic. This is Warsaw, uh, Poland, obviously. Interesting, um, I'm going to point out a lot of stuff I find interesting, of course. Interesting traffic so far. I mean, look, at we have a G-Wagon. I saw a Porsche back there. And then, of course, a lot of vans and hatchbacks I don't recognize, so it's always fun. But the videos from Poland I, I find uh, pretty fascinating. A lot of wide roads and then, like, a lot of more narrow European roads that I picture. So it's kind of a mixture. But uh, it always has a nice aesthetic, I feel like. Bendy bus. Lots of buses. That is actually... I feel like we've seen a dozen buses already. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Interesting maneuver. You had to go into oncoming lanes because of all this. So that's... Uh, always a little bit freaky although there's no one coming this way so it worked out oh my god look at the backup okay so remember this was backed up all the way back on that side and then look it up look at it up here as well and this is coming up to a roundabout and it's still that backed up yikes oh man driving an oncoming would just <laughs> that would be so freaky Again, shout out to all emergency responders, ambulance, fire truck drivers. What a crazy job. What a crazy job for sure. Uh, look at all the pedestrians too. You won't find that in the U.S. much. Unless you're in maybe certain parts of Chicago, L.A., New York, maybe. Lots of pedestrians. Kind of interesting lanes. Look at that Disney advert. <laughs> and Circle K. I find that so funny that you have Circle K, dude. What? All the way in all the way in Poland, they have Circle K. That is so funny. I would have just guessed that was America only. But you know, I don't know why. Just out of ignorance, I guess. Um, yeah, they were founded in El Paso, Texas, where I've lived before, and. I go there every day. It's a, I, I get like free coffee there, part of like a sip and save program. So yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Seeing a Circle K all the way over there. Look at that Citroen. But yeah, the, the road lanes, or rather the intersection back where the pedestrians were. Oh my God, those people. That one girl was like, uh oh. <laughs> like, yep, gotta listen for the, for the sirens. This driver, man, has to go through traffic and pedestrians. Yikes. Um, I was going to say that previous intersection looks kind of confusing. And I, I don't necessarily mean that in a bad way. It's just I know a lot of the roads in European cities would be different than I'm used to. So it, it just looks different to me and can appear confusing. Coming into a heavy jam here. You know what? Look at how good traffic is doing, though. He's literally splitting. Literally splitting the sea here. That's spectacular. Again, I always mention this for new viewers. This is very impressive. As an American, people always go to the right here. So, there, you know, in most circumstances, everyone in both lanes have to move over to the right, and the emergency vehicle is assumed to go past everyone on the left. 
Uh, now, granted, most of the time it works. Of course, you're going to have knuckleheads that don't follow that or don't pay attention. That can get in the way. Or sometimes people just get scared or confused. And, of course, you know, you can run into jams and issues in that way. But most of these videos I see throughout different countries uh, in Europe, it's very, usually it's very impressive. The response of the drivers and the emergency crews, uh, but also the traffic, the way they behave, is usually pretty spot on. Now this did get jammed up. To be fair, this is a crowded area. All it takes is one or two people to kind of be stuck or confused, and then we can get into some, some delays here. Which happened right here. Was he speaking through like a speaker? So they could probably hear that outside, I'm imagining. There's an oval. I gotta learn about them. Oh man, this is bad. Oh no. Look at this Mercedes. Oh, that's a Brabus? What? That's a Brabus right there. I've never seen one of those in person. I do know about them. I know they're like a special uh, like tuning company or firm through Mercedes, right? Or associated somehow with the Mercedes. And they make like really powerful versions of Mercedes vehicles, right? Holy crap. Uh, that's, that's a surprise. Okay. And he is pulling up into the grass. Everyone's trying to do what they're, you know, to get out of the way. They're trying to do all they can. There we go. Ooh, that was t that was tight. That was tight for a minute there. We're through that. All right, and skipping ahead, we had some pretty smooth sailing. Notice all the roundabouts. I love the roundabouts. Every, you know, most footage I see throughout European cities, I see tons of roundabouts, and I'm jealous. I love roundabouts. I've said that before. I do agree that they're better. They're smoother more efficient <laughs> it's pretty cool to see these giant roundabouts although some of them are interesting where they're bigger when we do have roundabouts in the u.s which i know they're rare they're usually small right like small intersections small roundabouts uh, sometimes in europe like what we've seen here you see like huge round intersections and then they are, there's also lights that's something i don't run into here so i would be a little like just a little bit confused i'd have to like know what i'm doing a little bit or f see how it works <laughs> look at that porsche that looks crazy is that the panamera this is a hell of a drive by this driver i mean they're covering some serious ground some of these videos where we have these ambulance emergency responses there's a little bit of a backstory now this one i don't know what the backstory is you know where point a to point b is i don't know you know who's going in what vehicle and and what the story is like who's hurt you know what's the what's the scenario right i don't have that for this one lots of trams everywhere too um so if anyone wants if anyone knows or, or wants to Try and figure that out in the comments. Uh, please do so. But it does look like they've had to cover a lot of ground. And skipping ahead uh, yet again. They got some big speed going in the last couple sections. Interesting siren cadence, as always. So I'm trying to see, I'm also trying to study like the infrastructure and stuff. I actually haven't been paying crazy amount of attention until right now, but obviously over here we have like some sort of park. We have, these are, see, these are decent like normal roads to me. These don't look terribly small, like everyone, or at least Americans think like different, you know, roads in different countries are usually smaller, which of course there's some truth to that. Uh, but these roads don't look too bad, like main roads are just main roads anywhere, right? I think this is set up just like an American four lane main road would be uh especially with the thing in the middle um now these are these like housing like some sort of apartments or are these all businesses 
Like when you see all these blocks of buildings like that. I suppose it could be either or. Because we're in a city after all. This is Warsaw, right? Pretty big city. Very big city. I don't know. Duster, what the hell is that? <laughs> There's so many cars I don't recognize, man. Got into just a tiny bit of a jam, but made it through. Very, very solid uh, performance by this emergency crew. The driver has been very swift, uh, safe, really no sketchy moments at all. Has done a great job of coming up to traffic and weeding his way through as we come up to presumably... Uh, where the destination would be, whether that be the hospital or some sort of site where there's someone injured, I'm not sure. Uh, as we can see, there's another ambulance uh, right there uh, also responding. So I'm going to guess from afar, obviously we couldn't see our camera vehicle, our ambulance. Uh, I'm going to guess we're kind of far away and it's a little bit blurry. I'm going to guess that this is... Like a Mercedes? I can't tell from here. But either way, uh, another great response. Uh, this would be linked in the description down below so you can watch this whole thing as we only feature part of it here. And as always, I turn to you for the comments. Always interesting comments here. We usually get some sort of a backstory. Sometimes we hear from people that were involved in this. Or sometimes uh, we get awesome suggestions on similar videos to this for the future. So I do appreciate you guys. These are always really interesting. And this one was no exception. Uh, the infrastructure, it was really good quality video. If we go back to some highlights here, you know, you like the, the police vehicle is really cool here uh, because, for example, this is a Suzuki. Like, what the hell is that? Suzuki used to sell cars in the U.S. a long time ago. We're talking maybe 20 years ago, early 2000s. I don't know exactly what year off the top of my head, but they did pull out of the automotive market here a considerable amount of years ago probably around 2006 maybe of course we still have suzuki motorcycles and, and such here uh but no cars whereas i do see another country suzuki still makes cars this actually looks pretty sleek i i'm digging this you know i like police vehicles as well we have all the blue with like crazy markings on it the blue and highlighter yellow and uh just the car itself looks pretty cool i know we can only see it from one angle here but it really does look look awesome in my opinion so there will still be more discovering of police vehicles in other countries as well poland has been very interesting in every video i've seen so uh, i would appreciate more info and suggestions from there i do appreciate it guys uh throw a like on there if you did enjoy this and of course subscribe to be part of this amazing community we do have here until next time please stay safe out there on the roads and uh, my name is ian you watch the iw rocker i'll catch you later